Hello right, guys, welcome to the Gator Productions YouTube channel. Thomas here, we're at the Healer Drag Street, guys. As you can see above me, there's a lot of clouds, so the racing has been kind of shut down. So, Vigor, get this time to do some interviews with some people. And we here, we have uh, one of the most best and dominating racers here at the Healer Drag Street. We have Mario Caval Jr. In the not, from the Not Too Crazy Camaro. So, Mario, um, can you explain to me more about this Camaro of yours? Like, did it start off just like as it is, or what did you have to do to make it become? Pretty much one of the most consistent and fast cars here. I yeah, just bought the car as is. Just change out the motor is about it, basically. Nice. Did it start off with a big tire or was yeah. it always a small tire? It's a big tire. Nice. So, but nothing too crazy. Can you explain to me about that? Uh, just a logo like how did you why, why did you name the Camaro like the nuts and too crazy? Oh it basically is nothing too crazy, just basic <laughs> basic stuff. Yeah. Nice. I actually wanted to name that car but <laughs> it's on Instagram and the fishing and game stuff. Right, right. We became good friends and just let me run the name. Nice, nice. Well, out of curiosity, what did you want it to name the car before it became nothing too crazy? It was nothing too crazy. Oh nothing too crazy. Oh okay, okay. <laughs> So I, like, I thought you I said you had like a different other name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, awesome. So, when was the first time you ever brought the car out to the track and raced it? Do you remember that? Oh, it was like a couple was years ago, or maybe like 2015, maybe. Oh, okay. So not too long. Yeah. So about like what, seven years ago? Yeah. Nice. And when you had the car it came out, was it like the was it like the 10 second car? Or was it more like a 12, no, it was, 11? We got 12 second car. Okay. It had stock motor. And then over time you upgraded it, yeah? yeah? Awesome. So Alright, sorry back to the interview and everything. So what were some of your best moments that you ever had racing this car on the track if you can recall? Like maybe maybe name like your best maybe if you can, one, maybe like three or five. Oh there's lots. There's always door to door races. Um Jerry and Jody. Oh, one of your closest races, yeah? yeah? Bill Brown. Oh, yes, yeah, Mr. Bill Brown. Oh, yeah. He's a very dominant yeah. racer. Yeah. <laughs> but I think up in the spectrum, like one of the more consistent and tough competitors, there's you, um, Uncle Jerry Andrade, and Mr. Bill Brown, and maybe Mr. Kevin Benavides, but I think you. Yeah, usually, yeah, him too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, but I know around those four, yeah. you're one of like the top guys that's really hard to beat. <laughs> and does that come because you're very. You're very talented in racing, or does it just come from over time? You becoming so competitive. I don't know. I just basically out there just have fun, just run around. <laughs> yeah. Just come to the track, burn rubber, have yeah, some fun. Yeah. Awesome. Now, kind of like a question. Like, say if you had like a, a young kid who was probably 18, 19 year old, wants to come into drag racing, and he wants to come talk to you because he's probably seen your car on Instagram. He, what would be some advice you can give to them? Like, say they just brought out a car, they just built. What would you? What what's some advice you can give them being your veteran racer? Just learn your car, get comfortable with it. Like, don't push it. Yeah, you don't want to kill the motor in the yeah. first pass. Yeah. <laughs> Be one with the car. You mean? Yeah, know every little thing that yeah. goes wrong with the car. Yeah. It's probably with you. You've been with this car for so long. You know when something's wrong. Yeah, you or... just gotta learn them and just. Be consistent with it, just do everything the same. Nice. For drag racing, what is something that you love about it so much? Like name me like three, name like about maybe three things that like what you love so much about being here at this drag strip and racing it. Oh, the, the, the adrenaline, just the brackets especially. Mm. You, you gotta know if you're gonna win or lose, just... Right. Just running rubber and just having fun, spending time with... Uh, family and friends. Yeah, and actually, what's so funny is that almost every time you go down the track and you're and you win, <laughs> right when I'm filming there, I can always hear your family screaming like, "Yeah!" yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cheering section right there. Yeah, like your old cheering squad right over here all the time. <laughs> yeah, I can hear them in all the videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I remember, I think it was the last race you and Mr. Bill Brown was racing. I think way back last year or maybe 2020. But I remember when you won, your whole family was just screaming oh, like, yes! Because yeah. <laughs> that, I think, was one of the closest races I think I've ever oh, filmed. Yeah. With him, he's always door to door. Yeah. He's side by side, rolling it out. So like when you're racing against Mr. Bill Brown, for example, he, like you said, you pretty much can see him like on yeah. your side or, or on your other yeah, side. Yeah, people looking at each other going down the, <laughs> the stripes. Trying to figure out, okay, who's going to get to the yeah, finish yeah. line first? Yeah. And then on the very end, we both stopped and gradually each other and asked who won. We got mm. 
Yeah, all that must be so exciting though, yeah. to have those kind of races. That's the best kind of races out there. When you get up, when you guys line up in the in stage and things, do you get kind of nervous? Or do you go through like a ritual to get yourself psyched up and focus? Yeah, just kind of, yeah, just kind of focus on, just look down the track and just, I don't know, just, hmm. just, just, just out, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries, just because there's some races they have their, they have their kind of like a, like before race ritual yeah, where they kind yeah. of they you know they they listen to a song or they or they yeah, kind of yeah. maybe just, just get in the zone kind yeah of. getting kind of the zone kind of thing yeah. so I was kind of curious if you had anything yeah. like that kind of but just like <laughs> you stir, stir on the track and just kind of just for like a tunnel vision yeah, and just yeah, focus the track yeah something like that <laughs> no it reminds me of a movie called um uh, biker boys where the guy would zone down yeah, yeah. the track so when you say that it kind of gives you that idea of, like that tunnel vision to just yeah. focus on your lane on yeah. your line and go yeah. try not to get distracted and whatever right 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 um, is it more fun to uh, chase someone or when you gotta have someone chase you uh i'd rather do the chasing right but yeah uh, not very particular not really matter oh okay Cause I know when me when I was racing junior tracks, I always like to chase someone down yeah, instead of having them chase me. Yeah. Yeah. They say the chance to turn around over the guy stay. Yeah. Well, at least you have mirrors, and the junior you kind of have to yeah, like. Yeah. You, you, you couldn't even turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, um, Mara, I think that's all the questions that I have for you today, man. Is there anything you wanted to say to anybody out there? Uh, yeah. To thank uh, all our friends and family to help for the support. Uh. The Sala Racing and Performance. The guys are nothing too crazy. Just yeah, all my family, friends, and fans. Yeah, and also uh, really thank Nothing Too Crazy for sponsoring our last race. They were able to give us um, some of their, um, uh, what do you call those things? Those, um, the flasks? Oh, yeah, what a flask. Yeah, they flask. So we use that for our prizes for the, yeah, yeah, the last race. Yeah. So really appreciate Nothing Too Crazy for that. Nice and spray frames too and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. They gave us that too and we use that for our prizes. So, yeah. 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 So yeah, there you guys, there you have it, uh, Mr. Mario Cabral Jr. from the Not Too Crazy Camaro guys, and we're posting this video on top of the TKD Productions channel, you guys. And don't forget to check out um, Mario winning more races later on in the future, and also some of the past videos. And also don't forget to support Not Too Crazy, you guys. So appreciate you guys coming out, and hope you guys have a wonderful day.